Hey, it's James here from goodguitarist.com and today I'm going to show you how to play Don't Fear the Reaper. Let's just take a quick look at what we'll be learning. So that riff works really well on acoustic and electric guitar. I'll be teaching it on acoustic, uh, but you know, you can play it on electric just the same. And then we're going to learn some strumming, which is pretty straightforward in this tune. The hardest part of this song for me is the words. Like once you get past the first verse, they're really cramming a lot of words into like a little bit of space. So I'm not a singing teacher. I'm not really going to worry about that too much, but just letting you know uh, really quick before we get started. If you enjoy learning guitar with me, please Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, like the video, do all that YouTube stuff. And if you haven't grabbed your copy of my free ebook, that's free for all my subscribers. I'll put a link to that in the corner. You'll also see I have a crash course now, which is also completely free and great if you're just getting started on guitar. Anyways, we're going to start off with that famous riff. It's based on A minor, G, and F, which happen to be the same chords that we'll be strumming later on. I start off by holding my A minor shape. Really, you only need your middle and ring finger. You don't have to put your index finger down. And I'm going to pick, starting on the A string, three strings in a row. And then I'm going to lift my shape and play the open G string. And since I lifted the entire shape, I'm ready to go into my next chord shape. And I'm going to play the bottom end of a G chord using my ring finger on the third fret of the thickest string and then my middle finger on the second fret of the A string. And you really got to curl your fingers or else you'll end up killing the notes. So this is really good training for curling your fingers. And for this one, we're starting on the thickest string and we just pick four strings in a row. E, A, D, as far as how to pick, you can just pick down, 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 or you can do alternate picking. For me, that's more comfortable somehow, even though it seems more complicated. I'll let you decide what works for you. Um, then finally, we're gonna put our index finger on the first fret of the thickest string, our ring finger on the third fret of the next string. And once again, we really gotta get our knuckles forward. I'm getting my knuckles forward by lowering my thumb, putting my elbow forward a bit, putting my wrist in front of the neck of the guitar. And that makes sure that all the notes are going to ring clearly. And I just pluck, starting at the thickest string, four strings in a row. And then we go back to our G. So all in all, As far as the rhythm's concerned, it couldn't be easier. It's just straight eighth notes. That means our counting goes one and two and three and four and, and we're just playing a note on every single beat. Going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And if you're playing this on electric guitar, you would do this for the majority of the tune on acoustic people are going to look at you and be like, hey, you got to strum the rest of the song. So let's take a look at that. We have A minor going to G. And I like to play my G like this, especially because our riff was, we were basically holding most of this chord down. I'm just adding my pinky to the third fret of the thinnest string now. And then for F, we could play a bar chord or we could play this easier version of F. It still sounds nice and thick. Uh, we skip the thinnest string index finger on the first fret of the B string, middle finger on the second fret of the next string, then my pinky finger on the third fret of the D string, my ring finger just above it on the third fret of the A string, and then my thumb is going to lightly touch the thickest string. That makes a nice hefty F chord. And we just go A minor, G, F, G. I 
recommend doing it just one strum each, even taking a bit more time than that, going like one, switch, 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 G, switch, 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 F. So we strum on beat one and then we switch during two, three, four, just to, uh, you know, add some rhythm to the chord switching element when we're practicing it. And um, as far as the chord progression goes, A minor, G, F, G, over and over again. And once you're feeling pretty comfortable, we can add the actual meter from the song. So we can start to play each chord the right amount of times. It's just two times each, basically. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Usually our strumming patterns are four beats long, but when you take a look at it in this tune, we're playing each chord for just two beats. So we got to figure out how to split our strumming pattern between them. The pattern I'd like to use goes like this. I'll do that slowly. Three and four and one. And there's a few little intricacies here that are going to make and break it. You know, it's more than just uh, downstrokes, upstrokes, and the counting. But let's start there. On the A minor chord, I'm starting off with a root strum, which is just aiming at the thicker strings. And then I play down. And as I come up, I lift my chord to switch. So the first half of our pattern is root, down, switch. And we're playing an upstroke. We are getting these open strings. And when you do it super slow, it sounds like crap. But once we speed it up, it'll sound really cool. And then we get into our G chord. And we go down, up, down. And then we lift on that last upstroke to do a switch. So with the counting, one and two. You know, once I do it fast, it starts to sound pretty good, right? But we gotta break it down into those motions. Root, down, switch, down, up, down, switch. Always switching on that upstroke. And then we do the same thing for F to G. And if that's a bit much for you, you can always just go like something really simple, like just root, down, root, every chord that sounds great too you know adjust it to where you're at um, either way that's our strumming pattern I'll do it one more time nice and slow three and four and root down switch down up down switch root down switch down up down switch that covers the verse and the chorus but there's this part that joins them now where we go seasons don't fear and then for F to E, it's just the same as when we go F to G, except instead of the G chord, we're going to E. So root, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then that puts us back into our usual chord progression. So this song just has two very distinct chord progressions. And um, combined with that intro lick, that gets you through the entire song. The one part that we're ignoring here is the solo bit, which I would rather teach in a separate lesson on electric guitar because it's like, it's so different. And um, you know, and it has this crazy guitar solo. We'll leave that for another day. Um, either way, I'm gonna get out my metronome and I'm gonna play through a little bit of the tune. So we're gonna get a chance to put all the pieces together, starting off with the intro, then a bit of the verse, that transition, and then some of the chorus. One, two, three, four.
you want to play along to the entire thing, I have that on my Patreon page where we go through the song start to finish with all the chords and lyrics. Um, please check that out. Also, don't forget to check out my free ebook. It's free for all my subscribers. It goes over all the fundamentals. I also have some premium courses, depending on where you're at in guitar. If you just want to get super solid at chords and strumming, Learn Guitar Once and For All is my flagship course that will take you from absolute beginner to confident strummer. I also have some late beginner and intermediate level courses that are going to take your strumming way further, teach you bar chords, finger style, music theory, how to play the blues. You know, there's a bunch of good stuff there. If you are interested in furthering your education um, in a more organized way with all the lessons just kind of there laid out for you. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching the video to this point. I do appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy learning guitar with me. Have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.